Hello everyone, this is Erlin from the Experience Research Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to merge files to add cases in SPSS. Just for your information that uh, in the previous video, I have already done a tutorial of splitting cases into different data sets. On that tutorial, I have a file contains 1822 cases and then split them into three da uh, different data sets the first data set contains uh, cases that don't have values uh, for the number of employees and the second one is for cases that have less than or equals 13 employees and the last one is for cases that have more than 13 employees uh, all data sets are still open now so on this video, I'm going to uh, merge two of those three files. Uh, the first one is uh, cases that have less than or equals 13 employees. And the second one will be for cases contains more than 13 employees. And to do that, I'll go to data, click merge files. Here I have two options, add cases or add variables because I want to uh, add cases, I'll go with the first option. So these are the data set currently active. Uh, Profit.sav, this is the main one. And then EMP2 uh, missing, this is the one that contains uh, cases with missing values. And this is the AMP2 below average. This is my target uh, data set that I want to merge with my current data set uh, above average. So click EMP to below average and click continue. So on this box, SPSS will show me all the variables I have in my active data set. Uh, EMP2 industry profit, EMP2 trans, EMP2 bin, EMP2 trans bin, EMP2 min, EMP2 min points, EMP2 median points. EMP2 interpolation and EMP2 trend. All variables match, so it's empty here. And I'm good to go by clicking OK. So this is the output saying that I have just add files EMP2 below average to my current file EMP2 above average window and above average. Now I have 895 cases uh, in my data set with the lowest value is 1. And the highest value is 95. Go back to... So the name of data set is no longer suitable. Uh, because it now contains cases uh, with number of employees less than or equals the average. So I'll just quickly rename the data set by clicking File and then Rename Data Set EMP2 Valid. Click OK. says that I have renamed the dataset to EMP2 valid. Click window, go back to the EMP2 valid. And just quickly save the file. Save as profit.sav profit valid. Click save. And that's it. Save to this address location, click window, profit valid, profit valid with a data set name EMP2 valid. So that's how you merge files to add cases in that uh, SPSS for more insights into data, data entry, data transformation, and data analysis in SPSS. Please subscribe, listen, and watch our content that is available in text, audio, or video format. Thank you for being with me today, and I'll see you next time on the next video. Cheers.